It was Big A. The man that can fix anything. He can even fix broken hearts. No. Isn't, isn't that true? Can't do that. You can't do that? Sorry, little A. I let you down. <laughs> Ah, all the rain's gone. It looks like we're back to having beautiful California weather again. So what's going on guys? It's Wednesday morning. Um, thanks for watching. And um, basically what we've been doing the last few days, I've been playing Resident Evil 7. The game's amazing. Like if you don't have it, please get it. Um, except if you don't like scary games because this game probably has the chance to make you crap your pants. But uh, yeah, we've been doing good. We've been cleaning up. We've been doing a lot of different things. And um, yeah, we'll show you what we have going on. So we got Big A right here. What are you doing, Big A? Looks still, like a 3DS. No, it's a DS Lite. We're still trying to fix the uh, Greg Rice's top screen, but now his touch screen wasn't working, so now I had to go salvage through my parts. Because we have parts. Sweet, so yeah. hopefully we can get this fixed for Greg Rice. For Greg and, and Greg, bring by your Sega CD games. Oh, Turbo Graphics too. Yeah, Turbo Graphics, might as well bring them all. All right, so we got not some trade-ins, but I bought some games from a friend of ours. His name's Jimmy. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, remember a couple weeks ago, I sold that Earthbound. Well, anyways, I wanted to get one back to replace it. So thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy got this. It's a nice-looking Earthbound. We also got a copy of Sunset Riders, which was desperately needed. And just about five minutes ago, we did get a Conker's Bad Fur Day trade. We've been getting a lot of these games in. Well, anyways, the guy needed money. He knew I would give him quite a bit for this game, so um, he needed some cash to pay some bills. So yeah, I'd gladly take it. So thank you, Jimmy, and thank you to the guy. I didn't catch his name for the Conker's Bad Fur Day. All right, so we got some customers. What's your guys' names? My name is Brett, and today I'm getting Dragon Ball Z Budokai for GameCube. Cool. This is one of my favorite games. And then I'm also getting Mega Man Anniversary Collection, which is the first, well, it's Mega Man 1 through 8, and then two arcade games also. One of you know one of my favorite games as well had it when i was younger sweet thank you man and what are you getting bro my name is michael and i'm getting zelda classic great actually one of my favorite games of all time mario 64 and star fox which is also one of my favorites and also and an n64 huh also one of the best systems ever made period ever ever and of time, any galaxy, any universe. It is the best. Well, thank you guys so much for coming in and supporting us. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Good morning, you two people. This is AJ, the bear. Rudy's all excited because he's playing Resident Evil 7. I'm excited for the year of the rooster for Overwatch. So, we're both excited about two entirely different things. So, what was that, Rudy? Right there. With the arcade machine. I mean, not the arcade machine. Right there. Well, look who we have here. What's up, Chris? This guy. This guy? <laughs> Very informative. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Chris Diaz, he makes those. Buy them. Buy them. I need the money. He needs money. You don't buy, he doesn't eat. Yep. <laughs> Got Rudy. You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Got yeah, Rudy uh, mopping the floors on this side. I'm just staying over here, make sure people don't mop that way. So, Chris, have you played Resident Evil 7 yet? No. No? You know why? Why? I don't have money. <laughs> money. So, buy his Pearly Bean so he can play Resident Evil 7. There you go. Three hours later. Well, Chris, after about three hours, got some games. <laughs> got Rudy right here. He just cleaned all these games. He's actually going to town on the Super Nintendo that we got in. Trying to get that done before I go home so I can get back and play Resident Evil. Oh, yeah, Rudy's been going on and on about it. I haven't played it yet. I want to. Let's see, it's that Street Fighter Turbo 2. Yeah, all these games are already good to go. Bam. Just like that, he's cleaning our controllers. See all our stuff we test out, we clean before we put it out. My favorite question that people ask does it work? I mean, I understand the question, like, you know, like, you know, it's an old, old console, old controller, but sometimes people blatantly ask it, and it's kind of insulting at times, like, oh, does it work? I mean, we're not going to sell it to you if it doesn't work, but that's why we also have a guarantee, you know, if it doesn't work in 30 days, bring it back, we'll switch it out, we repair it ourselves. We got you back, Jack. 
Welcome to another segment of Fix the Time with Big A. So today we got a PS4 that wouldn't uh, take or eject games. There was a game inside, Call of Duty Black Ops 3, inside the thing. Went ahead and I took it apart, uh, reset the, uh, the tray, put it back together. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit still, but anyhow, yeah, so we've been busy today. Here at the shop, we got AJ in the house. We got a, we're in the middle of a trade-in, so we're give, can you, giving you guys a behind the scene. I didn't drop anything. I know you didn't. It came out of the box. Yeah, it slid out of the box. It slid out of the box. It was only the controller and the power supply. But yeah, so right here, we got a virtual boy in the box. A bunch of wires coming in. Yeah, and then we got a suitcase full of consoles. Oh, Saturn. What else we got? Game cubes. Game cubes. What's underneath the game cubes? Oh, an Xbox original. Yeah. Oh, and all these consoles come with their respective wires, which are all here somewhere. Look at all the wires. Just wires. Oh, I see some PlayStation stuff. What is this? Oh, it's just an AC adapter for a Vita. Nice. How do you put this thing on? Oh, oh, that's how you do it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that virtual boy box. We got AJ hooking it up. <laughs> what? I even go to this. this is a... Oh, that plugs into the back of this. <laughs> I know. Oh, does it? Yeah. No, no, no. You, gotta, you gotta unhook that. Oh, you need the battery pack. Oh, man. I never heard no, of no. it. You gotta take that out? No, that's. I got I got a, a plug for the NES. No, it's a Super Nintendo. It uses this. The oh, Super Nintendo the Virtual Boy is the same. Yeah, open that up. Oh, okay. Uh. Oh, oh! And it plugs in there. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, see, so it plugs in there. Oh. You close that. Oh. You plug that into the. Oh. So, how's this thing turn on? Should be a switch. Well, I mean, this is a power. Really? Yeah. But. Maybe I'll just suck at this thing. Let's see. Careful, careful. Is there a power switch anywhere? I don't see it in there though. That's on. Oh, there should be one more. Hey Rudy, how do you turn this thing on? My hair says on. Yeah. I know we did a virtual boy episode. You forgot how to I plugged it in. Well, you gotta have a game in there. If there's no game, it won't work. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. If there's no game, it's one of those <laughs> systems you have to have a game in the cartridge slot. Let me go again. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I got it. Mario Tennis. Hey, doesn't it say it comes in the Mario Tennis game pack inside? It's not new. Yeah, but it's gotta be CID. Okay. I'm saying, maybe when you drop the power supply. I didn't drop the power supply. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, so let's, let's do this. Let's grab the one that works up there. Let me make sure it's in all the way. Oh, it wasn't in the way. Wow. Oh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. Mm -hmm. See? Where's the volume? Oh, there we go. I can't see it. 
Oh, okay. Oh, no, no. Okay, who do I want to be? I'll be the princess. Mario Tennis! Alright. I, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> oh. Okay, so just so we're clear, the virtual world works. Okay, I, I, I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it fell down? Oh god, Rudy's face. Like, Fucking ages! Because every time something breaks, it's always Big A! Big A! What the? I, honestly, I think Big A just slaps his butt into everything. He just goes, shit! <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll do it. So me. Uh, oh yeah, you gotta take off the lens cover. I got it. Look at that. Okay, so... Come on. I'll figure out how to... Well, it slipped out of the box when I took it out. <laughs> <laughs> I never got to see how the... So Rudy was, uh, he was right in the middle of a boss fight of Resident yeah, Evil 7. Yeah, man, I'm over here playing Resident Evil 7, relaxing, you know, I never get any time off. I'm over there, you know, in my PJs, all relaxing, and yeah, next yeah, thing you know, hey... hung out and everything. Yeah. <laughs> AJ gives me a call and says, hey, somebody brought in a big trade in. Anytime that there's really big trade ins, I like to be here just to make sure that it's all fair and um, making sure, first of all, that what's it called? Uh, we don't overpay or underpay on a big lot. We want to make sure it's fair and, and even and everything like that, especially if we're going to be shelling out hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I want to make sure since I'm running the business, I'm there to do that, you know? <laughs> I want to make sure there's no mistakes. <laughs> oh man, what? So, um, yeah. when, when AJ showed me some pictures, I really didn't care anything about, I just wanted to know, show me the Sega stuff, show me the Saturn. Mm -hmm. Well, what's up? Oh, that Nintendo stuff, throw that, that's, that's throw, throw that in the dumpster. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not just kidding, I'm just kidding. We, we want that stuff too, but, you know, I think I told you guys earlier, I, I don't get really excited over Nintendo stuff. It's the Sega stuff that gets me excited. Mm -hmm. And all the stuff gets big A excited. Yes, you should see my uh, your PSP collection. Well, see what I like to do is go on eBay and snipe these. <laughs> I like to snipe them all. Look at all these PSPs. Oh, this is what oh gets my me. Gosh, dang. All right, guys, we did get some good loose Sega Saturn games. So I'm gonna start looking for cases. We got Earthworm Jim, Herx Adventure. Oh, oh. Duke Nukem, Blazing Heroes, Iron Storm, The House of the Dead, Shining Force 3, Burning Rangers, and Albert Odyssey. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy. I need to go find some dang cases for these. Oh yeah. So I won't sell them until I find the cases, so uh, yeah. Big shout out to Erica for even coming back with those. Yeah, thank you Erica. But, yeah, so she's gonna <laughs> come by tomorrow and take a lot of my Nintendo stuff that she wants. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's oh, fine. Yeah. Tell her, hey man, she can grab a big old stack, take them all with her. <laughs> she can take all the duck hunts we got. <laughs> Even trade. 50 duck hunts. Alright. Well, let's close today's episode. See you guys tomorrow.